guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another PWCC weekly auction recap. This is the weekly auction number 22. I've got the top 96 cards sorted highest to lowest from sale price with the buyer's premium included. And I've got a few of these cards, maybe 15 to 20 of them pulled up in card ladder so we can take a look and see just how violent and disgusting the market has been lately. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. There's plenty of bloodshed for us to look at together. So let's get cranking. Here we go, our first four across the board. We've got our Steph Curry. Again, you're gonna see a lot of Steph Curry's. People were trying to time it right, but I don't think it's gonna be quite what they expected. We've got Steph Curry, Topps Chrome, number to 500, BGS 9.5. It sold for 38,400. So by far, that was the biggest card in weekly auction number 22. And as expected, as is always the case, when people do what they are expected to do and they win a title and you try to sell their cards immediately after, for whatever reason, their cards always go down. I think a big part of it is a bunch of supply comes to market and there's gonna be a bunch of Steph Curry cards that are gonna be for sale shortly after winning because I guess human intuition is that right after someone accomplishes something that makes them very special, you would think the value of their cards would go up. But that is uh, very often not the case, and it is not the case here. We saw it with Mahomes after he won the Super Bowl. We saw it with Burrow after he got to the Super Bowl. We saw it with Giannis after he won the championship. Uh, and this Steph Curry card sells for 38400 which is down about 6000 from the prior sale, which is down about 8000 from the sale before that uh, just a few weeks ago. So that card has dipped. Um, again, it's just one of those weird anomalies in the hobby, but it's almost become predictable. Uh, we've got our Jordan PSA 9 uh, sold for 18600 This is an interesting graph. We've kind of found where it belongs. Uh, the average sale price of the last 12 over the last one month is about $19,860. So this one's a little bit below the average. It's way below the last sale, but that was an exceptional copy a very good, clean looking copy that sold on June 16th. Let's go back and look at this Jordan a little bit closer. I think the left edge is an issue. I think it's off center right to left and I think it's noticeable. So I don't think it's a great copy of a nine. I apologize if that offends anybody, but uh, when you're talking about commodity cards like this, it's not centered well top to bottom or right to left. Honestly, it doesn't look like a nine to me. It looks like an eight and uh, the price kind of reflects that. It's about a thousand bucks less than the average. Uh, next, we got our Steph Curry Topps Chrome Base. These are numbered to 999. This is a BGS 9.5. Let's see if this followed the same path as the refractor. Here we are. Let's switch to base. Uh, even worse. And so the last one sold for 22,800 three days ago, and this one three days later sold for $13,200. I'm going to throw this one out because that doesn't seem normal. I guess we should look to see if those maybe were crazy subgrades or something. Um, Nope, it's a men gym, so that's just kind of weird to me. Um, uh, that is very odd that someone paid 22800 Maybe they got a really excited or maybe they were drinking tequila during the auction, but if you throw that one out, this one's been on a pretty steady decline. Uh, 18, 17, 5, 17, 8, 15, 6, 16, 2, 15 on the nose, this crazy 22, 8 out of nowhere, and then 13,200. So this is the lowest sale in the last 18 sales. If we look at the last year, it is the lowest this card has sold for in the last 25 sales. So think about this. This guy just arguably jumped into the top 10 of the all-time greatest players in the NBA. He got his fourth ring to tie him with LeBron. It's a BGS 9.5. It's a numbered rookie card, and it is only a pop 145. And just a few days after he accomplishes this, his card hits the lowest price that it has had in the last 25 sales. Welcome to the hobby. Uh, next, we've got a horizontal Trey Young. I don't know if I looked this up or not. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay, and so here's the last one that I could find. This is way back in July of 2021. So about, what is that, 10 months ago, something like that. It sold for $20,300. This one sells for $9,600, so less than half. The Trey Young bloodbath has begun along with many of the other players in the hobby. I hate to sound morbid, but I call it like I see it. We've got a Steph Tops PSA 10, 9,000. You can see the Doncic, red, optic, beautiful 10 uh, rookie card. Autograph leaves a little bit to be desired. It looks like the pin bled out and it doesn't even 
finish the loop. So maybe that's why that consigner chose not to get the autograph graded. Uh, that would make sense. But it is a pop 11, and it is a really good-looking card. But you guys know me. I just think there's too many variations of contenders, optic autos out there. Uh, that's just me. Uh, Kobe Bryant, PSA 9, impeccable auto, number to 10, sold for 9,000. And then the dual autograph, LeBron and KD, uh, number to 25, sells for 8,100, BGS 9, 10 autograph. Here is what I think is a really good deal in this auction. Uh, again, we've got a bunch of grade snobs in the hobby, myself included. I will raise my hand. Uh, but this is a Playmakers Theater. This is a very rare Kobe Bryant card, serial number to 100. It's only a BGS 7.5, which people are not going to like. But if we can pull this card up, I thought I looked it up. There it is. Uh, <clears throat> this one sold for 7,800 as a BGS 7.5. The PSA 9 recently, I mean just a few weeks ago, sold for $39,600. That is a 22,000, no, sorry, almost, a, well, let's say $31,000 disparity between a PSA 9 and a BGS 7.5 in right at one month. In a 30-day period, the card sold for 39.6 and then sold for 7,800. And the only difference was a BGS 7.5 versus a PSA 9. The last BGS 9 sold for 27,600. I love this $7,800 pickup. I don't collect Kobe. I don't like him. He's just not my PC. But I know Playmakers Theater and I know how relevant and important and vital that card is to any Kobe collector's collection. That's a really, really beautiful card, even if it is a 7.5 BGS. I'd send that thing off the PSA. It is arbitrary as grading companies have been lately. There's a, probably a chance it could come back a PSA 8, I swear, uh, just based on what I'm seeing lately in my own experiences. Uh, we've got our Gold Bradley Beal versus the Draymond PSA 9. So this was kind of the hot topic. Uh, I think Beal is a significantly better player than Draymond Green. I think Draymond Green is one of those right place, right time kind of guys. Um, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me and they'll, you know, talk about him bringing his lunch pail and diving on the floor and yelling at people and orchestrating defenses and all that crap. But I'm not buying it. I don't think Draymond Green is the player everybody thinks he is. Uh, I think he's a, a good piece in a team full of absolutely insanely talented players. Um, and then we've got our uh, Michael Jordan 5x7 star Court Kings. Anyway, those two uh, hot, hot, hot 2012 gold prisms. Hot is a firecracker. The Beal sells for 7,500. The Draymond sells for 7,200. Very low pop cards. We know they're serial number to 10, so just big cards. A Michael Jordan Court Kings 5x7. It's only a pop 75 in BGS 9. Uh, you can see the chart here. We've got the last two years pulled up. This card's just kind of undulated, but been pretty steady recently. 7,200 is a pretty low sale. It's probably the lowest out of the last five or six sales, but if you look at it from the last two years, it is up 300%, which is a pretty nice uptick. So uh, from two or from hell, 1790 all the way to 7,200. So easy 3x there. Um, big time sale for that Jordan consigner right there. 7,200 for that card is really good. Um, down here, we've got an Alex English rookie card, PSA 10. We've seen a rash of explosions for 1970s PSA 10 cards, but this one's kind of more reasonable. As you can see, it's not in the card ladder database, but if you go to sales history and we pull it up, we see 6,900. The prior one was 6,300, but look at this card hitting 12,000 on a prior occasion twice. Once there, once again in February, just a few months ago. So, um, you know, again, that's just wild undulation for the value of that card from 12,000 to 6,900 and then back and then back and forth in just a matter of months. The Kareem PSA 7 sells for 6,600. Where does Kareem belong? That's right on the number, guys. So right exactly what we would expect. If we look at the last five sales, it's a 7,000 average. This one goes for 6,600. Remember, not all PSA 7 Kareem rookies are uh, the same. LeBron Upper Deck Glass Auto BGS 8.5 sells for 6,600. The Chrome sells for 6,300. Ho-hum, another chrome that's probably dropping. Let's look together. Yep, 6,300 is the lowest that this card has sold for in one year. So uh, you're talking about a card that was 20,000 uh, about a year ago. The card, I think, hit 40,000, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I hate to just kind of keep rehashing, but yeah. This card hit 43,000 at one point. Um, it just sold for 6,300. Welcome to the new era of the hobby. Um, there it is over a six month period, down 52%. It's even down over the last two weeks, it's down 13%. So that card is just getting beat to pieces. And I am the lucky owner of many copies. 
<laughs> so you, you don't win them all. Uh, I will ride it out and hopefully it comes back to normal. Um, I like this scope pattern in the background of this uh, Tiger Stripe Micro LeBron Kobe Dunk Tribute thingy. Uh, I think this is what they call it now. 6300, that's a pop seven card. A Kobe Big Man on court. This is a tough one here with the NBA black sticker. 5880. PSA 10 condition, really good looking high end insert right there. Tough pack odds. And this is a card that uh, Cage and Andrew Goldberg were talking about on their podcast a few days ago as a potential bargain. And I have to agree with them. This is a 2012 National Treasures true RPA Anthony Davis. Remember, yes, they were horizontal that year. Yes, they're 199. So twice the normal true RPA number of 99 or twice plus one. Uh, but it's a beautiful patch. Autograph looks fine. Um, it is a men gem, but I mean, would you not rather have this card than a Draymond Green gold PSA 9? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I mean, I just, again, Draymond just strikes me as right place, right time, uh, right team, right era, all of the above. Um, and Anthony Davis, again, by no means am I an Anthony Davis simp or a hype beast. Uh, he's got to get on the floor. He is a... Uh, Ooh, what's a good euphemism for what I'm thinking? What to describe Anthony Davis? He is uh, pusillanimous. Is actually a word. It's not a bad word either, even though it sounds like a bad word. Look up pusillanimous. That is what uh, Anthony Davis is. He's soft, basically, uh, like baby poop. Um, but uh, I would still uh, like the upside of this card. 55.20 for a true gem RPA of Anthony Davis seems really low to me. Kobe Bryant, NBA 50th parallel, much more rare than the normal uh, 96 tops right there, 5,400. Uh, we've got a LeBron patch autograph with his uh, St. Vincent, St. Mary's looking hardwood patch thing. Uh, Pop 1 of 5, 5,280. Another LeBron basketball texture signature autograph from Upper Deck Sweet Shot, 5,280. The LaMelo Ball Lunky Envelopes, this is only a Pop 2. It's a PSA 9 and sells for 5280 upper deck glass lebron psa 10 that's a pop eight card sells for 5160 so just shy really 1200 less a little bit less than 1200 less than his tops chrome psa 10. this is a pop eight and the tops chrome is a pop eight trillion i think i think it was eight trillion no it was uh, 2186 so uh 2186 versus uh pop eight give me the upper deck glass uh, we've got a Wilt Chamberlain in action. For those of you not familiar, uh, a lot of the players in 1961 Fleer also had an in action card, which is a subset card. It's not as valuable as their actual card. It's not his true uh, rookie card. So this is his in action card. It would sell for significantly more if it was his true rookie card. Uh, but as you can see, he's about to yam on some poor white accountant right there underneath the glass while this guy over here uh, asked for his autograph. Um, and then they've got the incredibly insensitive Native American Indian dribbling the ball at the top of the card that we always like to allude to. Uh, but this in-action card is a really good looking PSA 8 copy. 5,040 is pretty impressive. Uh, right next to it, um, again, I'm not a Kevin Durant collector either, and I know I'm naming some people that are black sheep of the hobby right now, but just like Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant's kind of on everybody's um, potty list right now. This is only a pop seven with three PSA 10s out there. It's a numbered to 50 x Fractor Bowman Chrome rookie card, and I like the pose. I like it. I think it's cool. He's turning back. He's looking at the camera, and he's like, did you hear? I did not even get one rep on bench press at the combine, and now we know he's bulked up, and he's become an absolutely insane, unguardable monster in the NBA, uh, albeit he is uh, not on high on everybody's list right now. But that card sold for $49.20. I think I plugged this sucker in. Here it is, $49.20 right there. Uh, that is only uh, $5,100 less than the last sale. So uh, that person feels bad. Um, this card over the last two years has only sold four times for an average sale of 7192 you got to feel pretty good picking it up at 49.20. Durant's not done, I promise you. We have not heard the last of Kevin Durant, whether it's with the Nets or somewhere else. That dude is not done contending for titles. Um, got a lot of a uh, lot left uh, to go on there. And I never showed you this. This was the Anthony Davis 9.5 true RPA. Uh, the card was $24,000 um, not that long ago, about 15 months ago, $24,000. And it sold last night for $5,500. I mean, we're talking... Whew, we're talking below 2018, half of 2018 prices. That is just nuts. Um, again, it's not as nuts as 24,000, but it's still nuts. Let's nuts low versus nuts high. That sounded terrible. Uh, 2009 exquisite flashback magic patch 
Auto. Really good looking card there. Beautiful card. Uh, we've got uh, the Rakuten patch. Uh, I still don't know what Rakuten is. I think it's some kind of Japanese eBay. That's a total guess. I have no idea what Rakuten means. I think it may be some kind of discount points for buying through their website crap subscription i don't know but this is a one of one james wiseman uh autograph rookie card uh 4560 the jury's out on wiseman let's see what he's all about if he's anything it's going to make the warriors just absolutely insane and unbeatable pool wiseman kaminga coming in right after clay draymond and steph it's just gonna it's just like an embarrassment of riches uh, they even rented Durant for a couple titles. It's it's ridiculous how lucky the Warriors have been with caps and structures and all sorts of weird contract finagling. Uh, this uh, Giannis card sold for too little, and I think it's because it's a terrible picture. Um, I think PWCC could have done better and should have done better. Uh, terrible, terrible picture. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, here it is. So this is the card that just sold. Look at the picture. It looks like it's just a black card with black borders. 4320 Look at the last one that sold. Look how good this card is supposed to look. That's a beautiful card right there. And that is not a high pop Giannis uh, rookie card. That's a beautiful card. Um, and that's what the picture is supposed to look like. Um, but, uh, but it doesn't. So uh, it looks much, much, much worse, actually. It looks like uh, that. That is not good. That's not what you want in a picture. Uh, and usually PWCC is fantastic with it, but uh, they missed the boat on that one. Um, we've got another Jordan. I've seen this card many times. It's number to 25, but I feel like I see it a lot. It's only a pop two. Uh, sells for 4,200, patch only. Uh, Dominion, who is that? Kobe and Shaq, dual auto. That's pretty cool. Um, Kobe at the top, Shaq down here, number to 10. BGS 7.5, but you can throw the grade out the window. I mean, that's just a big time card from... Uh, two guys who didn't get along great when they played, but I wish they had those years back together and the opportunity to extend that relationship and see how many they could have won. Uh, Trey Young, <clears throat> uh, RPA, number to 50 uh, from 2018, Immaculate. Uh, Jordan Star Card, Michael Jordan Rookie of the Year Star Card, 3960 and BGS 8. Kind of the go-to grade for those Star Cards is 8.5, I would say, is about the average grade for most of those Star Cards. Not not just the 101, but the other Star Cards as well. If you get a 9 or a 9.5, you're doing really well. The Star 101, you're not getting a 9.5. There's only three of them in the world. But some of the other cards, the 9.5s do show up now and then. But really, BGS 8.5 is kind of, the, kind of the most common commodity grade to go with. Uh, let's see what the Bird Magic PSA 8 is doing. It's at 37.20. That's what it sold for last night. Um, is it a good looking copy? Let's check this out. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking copy right there for a PSA 8. A little, maybe a little diamond cut up there at the top. Hard to tell. Um, but let's see what we got. Here it is. Uh, so last night, 3440. The sale before, 3800. The sale before that, 3151. So kind of on the average of the last few weeks. Uh, well, really, it's down 20% over the last two weeks. If we zoom out, this is where. Stuff is going to get ugly. Uh, somebody once paid seventeen thousand for this card. Uh, people were paying steady thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars for this card, and now it is selling for three thousand four hundred and forty. And it would appear that the end is not in sight because if we look at the last two weeks, like I said, it's down twenty percent still. Uh, Derek Rose nine point five from twenty twelve Prism Gold, not a rookie card, but. Uh, what could have been with Derrick Rose and Grant Hill and Penny Hardaway and Greg Oden and some of those guys that we know were just uber talented that just never really got a chance to do what they were capable of. Sean Livingston's another one that comes to mind. Uh, Kareem Magic and Big Game James Worthy, BGS uh, one of one. Uh, I'm sorry, BGS Pop 1, none graded higher. This is numbered to 15, Immaculate Collection. Really like that acetate, uh, the autographs on the acetate right there. Just a really good looking card right there from the Lakers Big 3. Kobe Z. Pete, Steph Curry, autograph, rookie card, DNA, um, uh, authentic, uh, auto 9. Uh, the Tops Gold, Steph Curry, rookie card, PSA 8, sells for 3600 Here's a card I really like. I like these new edition inserts from Skybox Premiums. This is actually a Kobe uh, rookie card uh, or a rookie insert, whatever you want to call it. It's a little crooked in the case, but I like it because it's kind of got that Game Boy kind of handheld video game type feel to it. It sold for $34.80 last night. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. 
Uh, that card's come way down, way, 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 way down. So uh, back in October, this is the last year, it's down 65%. Again, this is miserable for owners of the card, this is miserable for investors, but this is just a dream for Kobe collectors, and I'm not one, but it is a dream. It's a pop 22, there's only been one added in the last 13 months. The card sells for 3480. Um, that is the lowest this card has sold for in the last seven sales. Um, again, really good looking card. It's only a pop 22. And the fact that we've seen seven of them in the last one year is uh, just really odd. That's one third of the population surfacing on public settings, uh, public sales platforms in the last year. Um, what is this? A 2003 Fleer Avant LeBron James Candid Collection. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that card. It is numbered to 199. That's pretty cool. 3480 pop three card. Wow, interesting. There's a LeBron James rookie card I've never seen. Uh, next to it, the neon green. People don't really dig the neon green. It's number to 75 in select. It's number to five, I believe, in Prism. Number to 75 in select. Uh, Luka Doncic pop seven goes for 3480. That card was probably fifty thousand dollars two years ago. Uh, Michael Jordan PSA 5. That 5 is really actually very good looking from a centering standpoint. Obviously the corners and uh, lower edges are beat up. Every corner is white, but man, that's really well centered for a PSA 5. Like that's a huge, that's why P okay, PWCC gave it a 30% IAPL sticker. Shit, for a 5, that may be better than 30%. That's a good looking 5 right there. Uh, Kevin Durant autograph rookie card, BGS 9 Auto 10, 3360, numbered to 150 from Ultimate Collection. Uh, we got a uh, Kobe Bryant patch auto number to uh, number to 39 Kobe auto Kobe auto and then a prism box. Uh, those Kobe autos all went for 3360, 3240, 3240. But let's look at this prism box here. I've got that pulled up on Card Ladder. Card Ladder is uh, has some really cool feature where it, it has some sealed wax up here. Um, so this sealed box is just on a nosedive. Uh, all of you people who said you know wax can never go down because the supply is constantly declining. Um, well, you're wrong. It is going down and it's going down extremely hard. In fact, I just looked at a sealed case that sold for less than $3,000 per box. This is $3,240 per, uh, for one box. Um, the last sale was $4,100 and then not too long ago it was $4,320. This was uh, $5,800 in October and now we're down to $3,240. I guess people are not in the gambling mood right now. Um, maybe they're just going to try to buy their card as a single since the market's dropped so much. Um, we got a Kobe Bryant, somewhat green looking to me. Topps Chrome rookie card, BGS 9.5, 31.20. Kobe's 99 upper deck game jersey, BGS 9, 31.20. And then I'm going to start scrolling, guys. we got to move a little quicker. Our first, I think that's our first Anthony Edwards sighting. If you didn't see the movie Hustle and you didn't get to see Anthony Edwards, Man, he should have been the star of the show. He was a fantastic actor. He came off as spot on. It almost made you not like Anthony Edwards. His acting ability was so good. I thought he did a fantastic job of being the antagonist and the trash talking, um, you know, nemesis of uh, Bo Cruz, Juancho Hernan Gomez in that movie. Uh, and also, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I'm going to just keep scrolling while we talk. If you haven't seen the movie yet, Queen Latifah did not fit Adam Sandler's wife. That 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 was. They, they tried too hard to make that work. I think Queen Latifah is a very good actress. It just didn't fit. It didn't make sense to me. Everybody else I thought was cast really well, but that didn't fit to me, in my opinion. Um, but uh, Michael Jordan, PSA, uh, PSA 8, 96 Topps Chrome Refractor. Rare card, hard to pull refractors in that year. Uh, as you can see, even the great Michael Jordan is significantly down from two years ago with this card. Uh, down to 3,000 bucks in a PSA 8. That's a pop 34. PSA 9 is a pop 90, and a PSA 10 is a pop 7. So what is that, 131? There's 131 PSA 8 or higher refractors, and the card's down to $3,000 from a high point of $10,000. Um, man, all time it's up a lot, but man, somebody paid 10 grand for that card. Hmm. I think that card is about 50 grand in uh, PSA 10. Let's take a quick peek. I'm just curious. It's pop seven. Yeah, about, well, Card Ladder's predicting it's about 50 grand. Who knows in this market what it would do. 
Triple autograph, GP, uh, Kobe, and Magic. Gary Payton did spend a minute with the Lakers and didn't really contribute too much. He was a little bit past his prime. Uh, hand serial number 9 out of 15. Another Kobe eminence autograph. Jaron Jackson, true RPA. Goes for 3000 bucks. Oscar Robertson, PSA 6. Let's see what uh, the big O did. Uh, nice little uptick. So one of the very few cards that we've looked at that's actually up from its last sale. Uh, this card sells for $28.80. It's even higher than the average sale of the last 12 sales. So that's a good sign. Vintage, well, at least this vintage card is holding strong. That Oscar Robertson PSA 6, a little bit of an uptick. Uh, one thing that we know is holding well is these dang gone gold prism cards, 2012 especially. Here's the Jerry West. Some huge whale deep pockets is out there trying to collect that set, and it's making me very jealous. I could never collect that set. It's just too expensive. Um, chuckle, chuckle. Uh, I'm collecting the base set with all the other dumpster divers uh, in PSA 10 condition. But, uh, but man, what a set that would be. There's 300 cards in that set. 300 golds. Even if you're paying 2,000 a card, uh, that's I think that's 600,000 by my crazy Cajun math. Not to mention that the LeBron's probably 100,000 or something stupid like that. Um, and the Damian Lillard gold and the Anthony Davis gold and the Kawhi Leonard gold and the Clay Thompson gold and the Bradley Beal gold and the, I mean I could go on and on that's one hellacious rookie class in that class I'm telling you uh, another Kobe Eminence 2880 another Kobe Eminence 2760 here's a Kobe Bryant flair showcase this is I guess what we would call an, a rookie not a rookie insert or maybe yeah it is a rookie insert because I think these class of uh, 96s were inserts. If it's not an insert, it's a subset. But uh, 2640, again, not the greatest picture in town. Uh, this card, down. Uh, along with every other Kobe card we've looked at. So 2640, down from 3360 just a week ago. Down from uh, 3500 uh, about a month and a half ago. Over the last year, uh, that card is significantly down from a high of 58.42. So um, we're seeing a huge drop off in Kobe cards, which Kobe collectors love. Kobe investors probably not so much. They're stuck, and they're either uh, selling at a discount or they're uh, or they're going to try to ride this out. Dennis Johnson, 1978 tops. I think this is his rookie card. Uh, yeah, rookie card. So uh, really, really impossible product to gym. Those cards are so soft. That paper is so soft. But um, this Dennis Johnson card, number 78, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, let's see if we can find him. Here he is, uh, 2520. The last sale was 3067 3000 1000 2800 So this is one of the highest sales of this card. Uh, the last three, you know, have been the highest sales ever of this card. I don't have the pop report pulled up, but I don't think there's very many Dennis Johnson collectors out there. But he is a Hall of Famer, and it is a PSA 10, and I bet you that pop is pretty dang low. I bet you it's less than 20. That is a complete guess. I have no idea what the pop is. Uh, right next to it, we have a card that I think is a buy. Uh, I don't say this very often. I think this card's a buy. Um, I've got it pulled up. It's Fleer. It's Pop 271. Has there been some added? Yeah, probably. Maybe there's more than I thought there were. There's been almost 50 added over the last uh, over the last year from the PSA backlog. But Pop 271 is still not very high, and it's almost uh, reminiscent of the Magic and Bird rookie card, except this is actually three rookies. There's no Dr. J in the middle. It's three first ballot Hall of Fame rookie players. Um, LeBron, a top three player of all time, no matter who you are. Uh, you can't really argue that. I would say top two player. Carmelo Anthony is a top 75 of all time. And Dwayne Wade's probably a top 35 of all time and one of the top five or six shooting guards of all time. Um, just off the top of my head, comment below if I'm crazy. Uh, this card's 2520, but look where this card was two years ago. Bang, somebody paid 13000 for that bad boy. Um, you know, it was not uncommon uh, just exactly one year ago to be paying $38,000, $39,000, $4,000, dollars and now it's $25,000. So there's a buy point at some point, fellas. I mean, if we look at the last two years, it's still up. You know, the cards doubled. Let's look at the last year. Cards down 35%. I don't know where the bottom is. That's the problem. And we keep asking the same question. Where is the bottom? We don't know. We got a Nebula Tatum third year card, 2370. The Kobe star date that we see so often here for 2310 in BGS 9.5 condition. Uh, another 2012 Prism Ewing card sneaking in. And this is a good looking Giannis card. It's off center. Um, I can't believe it got a nine centering. That is not a nine centering. Uh, but there must be some kind of surface blemish because it got a six. 
Uh, so that card goes for $22.50. The Ewing goes for $21.90. That's a pop two in BGS 9.5 condition. A cool Trey, uh, Trey Young Silhouette RPA from uh, Court Kings. Uh, I'm sorry, Crown Royale, uh, number to 25. That's the uh, Prime Parallel, Prime Patch Parallel. Pretty cool looking card right there, I must admit. $2,100. Uh, another gold, uh, no, that's orange, sorry. Orange co Contenders Optic Trey Young Autograph Rookie Card, 2070. Uh, a Kobe Bryant Legacy Collection for only 2010. Wow, I think it's because it's an SGC slab. Somebody may crack and submit that to PSA. Uh, LeBron James Gold Medallion Lucky 13 sells for 2000, almost on the nose. A couple of Kobe autos and then a uh, um, an encased uh, white box, Jason Tatum, whatever that means. I know a lot of people are not fans of those. And here is the card that changed the world, right? And so this is the <laughs> this is the Luka Doncic 2018 Prism Silver. Uh, the pop's getting up there on that bad boy. I don't have it pulled up on card ladder, but uh, you know what? Let's go look at it. Let's go. Uh, let's go reminisce a little bit. 2018 Prism Silver Doncic uh, PSA 10. Let's see what's going on with this wacky card over the last year it's down 56 percent over the last two years it's down 36 percent the card once hit nine thousand um, dollars it was eight consistently uh for a little uh, little brief period there in the first quarter of 2021 about 15 months ago and now the card has sunk all the way down to below two thousand dollars 1892 uh that is uh really 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 big drop off the all-time chart is pretty funny um again no fault of Doncic. it's just this number right here on your screen 2135 is a lot of something um so not a collector's card it's an investor flippers card so uh that is what it is so below two thousand dollars for that Doncic psa 10 chronology autograph psa 8 uh, sorry, I skipped over this Scoring Kings. Is it Scoring Kings Plus? No, Scoring Kings, regular Jordan from 96. A lot of people are familiar with the 93 Ultra Scoring Kings, but this is the 96 Ultra Scoring King. Um, SGC 9.5, sold for $17.70. A Kobe in flight auto. Uh, ooh, my guy Kevin Porter makes an appearance. Okay, so my one of my favorite prospects, Kevin Porter Jr., number 25, BGS 9.5, quad gem, contenders, cracked ice ticket. Um, that's a big time card right there. Uh, Pop six sells for $1,740. Here's the Durant. We saw the X Fractor earlier. This is the Refractor PSA 9, sells for $1,710. A LeBron Kaboom PSA 9 sells for $1,710. And then a Zion, is that green? Yeah, that's the mirror green. So there's a number to five, right? Yeah, number to five BGS 9 sells for $1,710. Um, the, the Shaq number one, not the one B, but the number one sells for 1680, another 2012 gold. People are scooping these up like crazy. Here's a steal, man. Here is a steal pop one of eight. People don't realize how rare those red prisms were from that year. And if you want to make it even more rare, you put it in a BGS 10 slab. That's a beautiful card. I'm lucky to have that card. Mine has a gold NBA sticker. Uh, I probably paid more for mine than this. And I think I have a, maybe a 9.5. I can't even remember. It's either 9.5 or a 10. Honestly, I've put all of my LeBron cards out of sight, out of mind, because they're just too depressing to look at the price drop. Uh, Tatum, LeBron, Anthony Edwards, and then Booker makes his first appearance from Panini Absolute. Uh, this is his next day autograph. I guess Don Russ took those over at some point. Sorry, I don't know much about the hobby, but I thought Don Russ was next day autographs. Maybe I'm crazy. And that's it, guys. That does it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, these PWCC weekly auctions start every Thursday. They end every Sunday evening. It does have extended bidding. If you don't know what it is, go to pwccmarketplace.com and educate yourself. Uh, I do encourage you to go check. The market is on the decline. Cards are getting lost in the shuffle. A lot of these cards are not on people's radar, and there are deals to be had, or at least I think they're deals. Again, we don't know where the floor is, but um, I do uh, you know, encourage those of you who are in that buying mode to go check out these PWCC weekly auctions. Um, the, the software and the graphics and, and the organization of the website is absolutely unmatched, unparalleled. Uh, anybody who hasn't tried it needs to at least go try it out. Again, I don't get paid by these guys, but it's just a really good product. And it's a great place right now to go buy cards. So um, 
anyway go check it out it uh that was weekly auction number 22 weekly auction number 23 ends this sunday six days from now seven days from now uh and then obviously you'll get a recap from uh from yours truly every uh every monday so uh, I'm going to try to get this thing uh, pumped out post-production and recorded and uh, set it up for you guys so you know uh, what happened last night. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.